CTurl is a simple programming environment that you can use to make all kinds of different drawings. Let's start learning by trying to draw a house. So the most important thing to know is how to draw a line. If I write forward 50 and click play, the turtle on my right is going to move forward 50 units, and he's going to leave behind him a little line. Well, what if I want that turtle to then start to draw the roof of my house? Well, a roof is usually like a triangle, right? What if I try turning my turtle to the right? Right 45 will turn my turtle to the right. And then after I have him turn to the right, I want him to draw another line. So I'll say forward 35. Let's try pressing play. So he goes forward, he turns to the right, and he goes forward again. Okay, how can I finish my roof? Well, what if I have him turn again, right 90, then have him finish drawing the triangle of my roof by going forward 35 again. Let's try that out. Okay, all I have to do after this is finish the outline of my house. So I'll have him turn to the right again, right 45, forward 50, then I'll have him turn right 90, and forward 50. That'll finish the outline of my house. Let me try it out. Okay, so the turtle goes around, keeps turning and going forward to enable me to draw the entire house. Pretty cool. Okay, let's try something a little harder. What about a circle? Okay, well all we've seen is how to draw lines. Can I make a circle out of lines? You know, if you look at a circle on a computer really, really closely, it's actually a lot of small lines. So if I do something like forward one, and then I say right one, and then I say forward one, and right one, I'll get a lot of really small lines. You know, so small that I'll hardly see them. Let me try running it. If I try running it, I can't hardly see what the turtle's doing, right? What if I could keep doing the same thing over and over again many times? And I could maybe then start to see the edges of a circle because I keep turning just a little bit. Well, you know, in programming, we have this concept called loops and they let us repeat ourselves. So what if I can just do this simple command, forward one, right one, these simple two commands over and over again? How many degrees are in a circle? 360, right? So I'm gonna write repeat 360. And then when I want my loop to, to finish, I write the word end. In other words, the information between repeat and end is gonna happen 360 times. Okay, I'm gonna turn the interval to 0 0.01 seconds because this is gonna take a lot of drawing to do, right? 360 different moves. If you include all the turns, that's 720, right? So I want that to go really fast. That's why I turn the interval down. Let's press play. Okay, my turtle's making a lot of really, really small lines, right? And they're starting to look kind of like a circle. That's cool. And when he finishes, I actually have a circle. What if I wanna have a way to say draw a circle anytime that I want? Well, we have a concept in Sea Turtle called a subroutine. If I type sub circle, and then I'm gonna move all of these forward just for formatting purposes. You know, it's always nice to indent our code so we can tell what's a part of what. And I wanna say everything that starts at sub and ends at this end is part of this subroutine. Okay, this says I've got a subroutine called circle and all the information between sub and end, that's what I want you to do every time this subroutine executes. If I use the word call, it'll say run that subroutine. In other words, go to this subroutine, execute it, and then we'll run the code in here which repeats 360 times to draw my circle. Okay, so same thing's gonna happen now. I'm just gonna draw my circle again. But now I have a way of saying, hey, draw a circle. Okay. What if I, every time I run my circle, could change something about it? Well, we have this concept in Sea Turtle of variables. A variable is a way of storing some information. So I'm gonna create a variable at the top of my program called length, and I'm gonna set it initially to be three. So every time my, my turtle goes forward, I want it to go length forward. So it's gonna go forward three spaces. You might say, okay, how is that any better than just having my turtle um, go forward three? Well, here's the reason that's better. I can change length. So length originally was three, but what if I then set length to two? And then I say, draw a circle again. And then what if I set length to one? And then I say, draw a circle again. What I'll end up with is three different size circles. Let's try running that. Okay, so I have my original circle. This is the first one when length is three, right? And then after this circle finishes, 
I'm going to change what length is. That's this line on line 11 where it says set length 2. Length is going to go from being 3 to being 2. And then I'm going to call circle again. So it's going to draw another circle, this time with a smaller length of each little piece of the circle. Here we go. Okay, the next circle starting, and it's a smaller circle. Now you notice that first circle went off the edge of the board, right? Well, our drawing space is 500 pixels by 500 pixels, or we might call them units. And so that first circle was more than 250 units in diameter. That's why it ended up being off the end of the screen. This next circle is less than 250. And then our final circle, when we set length to one, is gonna be even smaller. And so you see how with just a few commands, we were able to make a kind of interesting drawing. And I'm sure you can imagine how powerful this is where I can have subroutines that draw individual pieces of my program. They change maybe based on variables how they draw, and I can put multiple of them together to make more and more interesting drawings. Just with this simple exercise, you've already learned several different pieces of Sea Turtle. You learn set to set a variable's value. You learn sub to define a subroutine that you can then use call to run anytime you want. You learned repeat to repeat the same lines of code over and over and over again. You learned forward to make the turtle go forward a certain amount. You learned right to make the turtle turn to the right a little bit. Um, and you also learned how to put all of these together to actually make a drawing. Now, using these simple commands, what kinds of cool drawings can you come up with?